in Hudson County. This That's is not your, oh, no, 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 no. This will always, okay. Nobody's getting wrist bracelets with my why, name why, on why it. Why don't you finish with? Why don't you finish? No, first? I've had. I've been with Brenda with. Want to come with me? We got some folks over here. This is my escape plan. Pawn us off. Exactly. Jim says you have. Folks over here, want to say hello. I think there's nobody better in Jersey to serve the residents of the county. Seven years. He'll be hardworking. He'll be honest. He'll be sincere, and he'll be out here every day on the bread and butter issues in Jersey City. Nobody will do a better job. Hey, man, come in, come in. All right, Don. Don, I gotta, I gotta come in one take. Hey, old Tony. Sheriff. All right, we're good. Mayor. Come on, coming through. Coming through. And I think it takes that much time to really get your message out there. Let me say one or two. Yeah, yeah. Tio Tony. Tio Tony. He doesn't need on the job. Outside of Jersey City. He's done this before. He knows I, I the train's got to run on time. He knows the backing that comes from the county. Look, as a mayor, mayor in Union City, need to be I want a good neighbor in Jersey City who's going to work and do a great job in his city. And that's my real main focus here. It's not about the politics. It's not about the political machine. It's about Jim McGreevy really doing a great job. And I think if Jim McGreevy's the right side of Jersey City, and Jersey City needs it. As a matter of fact, I voted for in, in the beginning, in the beginning it was. In the beginning it was. He said to me he wasn't interested, but I said to him he's done his contributions for re-entry. He's done a lot of great things out there, and I think this is the right time. And what type of message do you think? You know, he's picked a, 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 a restaurant, and, it, and he's talked a lot about second chances. Uh, putting that right out there into the campaign, uh, which could also open him up for a lot of criticism. What are your thoughts on, on how he's just being very open and honest about the mistakes that he's made and second chances? I think he, I think he's doing the right thing by admitting what his mistakes were in the past. I think it's nobody's perfect in this world. I think by him putting that out there and addressing it head on, I think is the best thing he can do. And I, I think people are very forgiving. He didn't do anything where he didn't admit to it. And he admitted to that, and he's moving forward, and he's committed to public service. Hi, Mayor. How are you? How are you? Mike? Good to see you. Brian Stack, America's Mayor. How are you? All right. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Hey, well, sure, sure. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, can I just get your thoughts? Um, you know, it, it feels like homecoming week. Yeah. For people who have covered your So Jim McCreevy gets government. He doesn't need on-the-job training. He's done this before. He knows both branches because he's serving in both branches as well. He knows the train's got to run on time. He knows the streets need to be clean. They have to be safe. So as a fellow mayor, as someone who also understands what needs to get done, he knows what needs to get done. He's going to get it done. One has to look deeply into the mirror of one's soul and decide one's unique truth in the world. And so my truth is that I am a gay American. I engaged in an adult consensual affair. It was wrong. It was foolish. It was inexcusable. I accept total and full responsibility for my actions. I have decided the right course of action is to resign. I'm imperfect and I'll always be imperfect. It's important to take accountability, to do the next right thing. It was painful, but I would not have traded anything that I've experienced. It's made me a better person, more compassionate. A lot of the guys and gals that I work with come from difficult circumstances. They don't always have schools that work, the opportunities. My dad got a second chance. He decided as part of his seminary that he would go into prisons and do prison ministry. We had a lot of people who had just come out of prison home for dinner. His work taught me a lot about second chances and a lot about people. What's the point if we just throw everyone away who's ever made a mistake? When we don't give a person a second chance, we lose the benefit of those people and what they bring to the table. My name is Ulysses Matthew McMillan. I served a 22-year sentence in the Federal Bureau of Prisons. I'm a person who's been given a second chance. And by way of my second chance, I work. I add money to the economy. I help my neighborhoods. I assist the elderly in my neighborhoods. I've become a benefit. When I think about my dad is not the scandal or what happened, but just how much he does and how hard he works and how much he cares. I'm incredibly proud to be his daughter.
When my grandparents came from Ireland, they were looking for a second chance, a new opportunity. And that's what God willing is this campaign is all about, is a new opportunity for Jersey City. As someone who's young, who wants to work in public service, Jersey City being so expensive isn't really conducive. Him seeing myself question whether or not I can live here is what he cares about. I was coming out of my parish. It was an army veteran who said, Jim, I want you to look at those buildings. I can't afford to live in any of them. Neither can my children or my grandchildren. I'm gonna move out of here. And I said, you've been here for four generations. Jersey City becomes unaffordable for the people who built this city. Something's terribly wrong. We have this great asset in our development, but we have to keep our city affordable. I wanna make sure that Jersey City works for my daughter and for her generation, so that Jersey City is about opportunity for working families, people who want to give back and make the community better and give a darn. Jersey City isn't about just us, but it's about what we give to it and what we build. Together we build a better community, build a better city. And that's the campaign I'm asking you to join in.